Hi guys, I'm David with Media Unlocked, and today we're going to be going over how to make a panoramic photo. Now, if quite a few people have asked me and wanting to know if you can do it in Aperture, um, you cannot do it in Aperture. Actually, there there might be a plugin you can buy for Aperture, but actually doing it within Aperture without the plugin is not possible. So I found a program called Huggin, and it is for Mac or PC. It's freeware, so it doesn't cost anything, and it does a really good job of putting your panoramic photo together. Um, so, and you can make like a three-dimensional type ball with uh, with this program as well. But I haven't really dove into learning all the uh, features of this free program. It's pretty awesome. So I have three pictures that I took when I was at the park today. Here's the left picture. This is the middle picture, and then this is the far right picture. Now I'm going to be taking these three pictures and putting it into one, and it's actually really simple. So what we're going to do is we're going to open Huggin. And there will be a link in my description bar uh, sending you to the download page for this so you can get it for PC or Mac. Um, I don't know what the PC interface looks like, but I'm guessing it's similar to the Macs. So once you open up, you're going to go to Load Images. Now here's the three images right here that I want, so I'm going to click them, Open. Now once they open, um, what I would usually do before is I go on and do it on the line. Now the line takes a second to do. Um, it takes probably about 35, 30 to 45 seconds. So we're going to I'll be back when it's finished. All right. Uh once it finishes, it sends you into this little piece of software right here which is attached to Huggin. And what this does is is it allows you to pretty much kind of edit your photo to a certain extent. Like this looks pretty good to me, so I'm gonna leave it as is. You can go and you can crop it and stuff. I like to crop it in CS5 Photoshop, so any problems I have with this, I just go straight into Photoshop and do the final editing as well. This is kind of like the 3D ball that they they allow you to make, and you can add on to this uh, ball and and make it look quite interesting. Um, I like I said, I haven't dove into this this part of the software, but I, I do plan to get into it at one point in time. But just for a basic panoramic photo this is how you do it so this looks good so I'm gonna pop back over here you can actually just leave that if you want and you're gonna go on and click create panorama now and you can figure out where you want to send it I'm gonna send it into my pics folder alright so it's gonna do the same thing it's gonna go through and stitch it together again this is gonna take this takes a little bit longer this probably takes about maybe one or two minutes um, sometimes a little bit faster but usually it's around one or two minutes and then it's going to show you your panoramic photo and if you don't like anything about it as far as if the cropping's off a little weird you can go into Photoshop and fix that now if your panoramic photo doesn't flow very well together um, then that's that second box that we opened up uh, when we did the alignment and I'll realign it real quick um, and it opens up you do have you do have some features in there that you can work with um, so which is which is kinda nice if you want to and uh, apparently this software is also really good for uh, HDR photos, which I actually haven't uh, tested it yet. Just got this piece of software a couple days ago. I came across it, and uh, and I'm pretty happy with it so far. So uh, I'm gonna let this finish. Um, I'll let this. Well, I guess it's gonna pop back up now, and this is still going on in the background. And uh, as I was saying, there are some different things that you can do here. As you can see, the photos are there, so you can re readjust it. I think if you want it, and you can go in. And and add some some more detail adjustments if you don't like how you do. I say do a 25% or more overlap, um, depending on how wide you need this photo to be. So um, this is still stitching together, and I'll come back to show you what the actual picture looks like once it's stitched together. Okay, once it's finished, go to where you sent it. Uh, I sent it into the folder with the other three photos. Open it, puts it in a TIFF format, preview. that looks pretty good to me so I'm gonna keep it as is um, and you can add in four or five different pictures you don't have to I limit it to three photos like I said 25 percent overlap is really your best bet and again you can go into Photoshop and do your final editings there so this is just a fast way to make a panoramic photo um, so if you don't have a lot of time this is a real simple way to do it you pop it in the software it kicks it back out and uh, I'll put together for you um, and uh, I hope this helped you guys out. You have a wonderful day.